Hello everybody! So I have a new bloom to show you. This is the Rincolilio Cattleya Young Corona Green Genie. Alright, so as you could see, it's a quite a big plant. And um, definitely, it's a standard size Cattleya because uh, it's about like more than 12 feet tall from the uh, rhizome here up until like the uh, where you can see the flower so it's getting bigger definitely by every new growth as you can see they started out like just that tall right but the new ones here are quite this big now anyway so from well, as you can see there, that's my previous uh, video about this one when I had it blooming last year. But it actually bloomed again. I just didn't... Um, sometime, be sometime in the beginning of this year, it already bloomed. But I was not able to take a video of it. So now it's, I'm taking my chance. As you can see, that's the same plant there as you can see from the uh, television there. That's my video from a year ago. And this is a new flower that just recently opened and as you could see there's a major difference in the flower could you see the difference I think you saw it um, this one the splashes on this one are much wider the red splashes here on the sides are much wider making that gap between those splashes much smaller looking like eyes as you could see kind of looks like a cat right because those are the eyes and that's the nose right and those are the, those are the whiskers right but those guys on the TV the one that I previously shown you guys last year have a small a, a smaller splash uh, feature and I'm assuring you this is the same plant as that one so yeah it's just very interesting for me that within the same plant it does have some variation in the flower but everything else is pretty much the same um, as you could see here the there's still the green tinge here by the splash and also by the lip and also still it's like red velvety purpley you know purple red velvet color it does reminds it does remind me of like a purple red velvet cake or something like that because it's like hairy and um, let me take a closer look some like hairy velvety texture on the lip on the lip right. and of course aside from the petals having splashes right here it has sepals that are still green they're pretty much green just like in the previous video there right and still see here that the sepals are green lime green to be yeah it's like a nice lime green color it's something that you might like to eat up <laughs> well anyway so um this is quite an easy cattleya to um cattleya alliance uh orchid to take care of because i have this almost flowering for each new growth yeah and there's a new growth there and it's also in in bud yeah you're wondering that there's only one flower on this one because sadly the other buds were eaten off by a very pesky slug yeah almost cut off the whole spike there there's like a bite there yeah so it's trying to eat off the the new buds 
and also the whole stem, I mean, the whole stalk of the uh, the bud, of the inflorescence. Yeah, so it's very. I hate. I really don't like um, slugs at all. But um, yeah, I'm trying to uh, control the the uh, infestation of slugs, and I think I'm. I will be able to manage it. Uh, I'm very. Uh, very uh, in, uh i really like the uh patterns on the lip because of the like those highlights that uh the those highlights at the edge of the um of the lip and also on the on the petals there you could see them right there's like a uh ooh, really hard to focus yeah like an edge white edge on the petals so you could see there aside from the um, very psychedelic splash patterns on the petals so it, it does kind of look like funky in terms of like it's the way it's colored and um, I checked online that this is a cross between Brazilian treasure, Catalea Brazilian treasure, and uh, RLC uh, Memoria, Memoria Helen Brown. So, and those guys mm, uh, make up a uh, composition of mostly uh, Catalea Doiana. So, um, but uh, I'm not really aware of um, what are the particular features of uh, Cattleya Doiana that it got that this one got from that um, species parent uh, anyway so basically that's my update on this uh, Cattleya uh, alliance species no alliance hybrid and um, yeah hope you subscribe to my channel and also uh, check the uh, time-lapse video of this guy here and also I'll give you updates on those buds. Maybe soon. Alright. Alright. Thank you for watching and happy growing all my orchid friends. Bye!